Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you from the Ramsey Custom Shop and some of you may remember this intake. This I worked on this about just about a year ago. In fact, it might have been a little over a year ago. And this is uh, my son Matt, uh, his friend Carlos, uh, one of the two uh, main stars over at the famous YouTube channel Everything Garage. But I made a video on this, so if you're interested in seeing what I did to it, go back and check it out. Link is in the description and there'll be a card flashing up on your screen now with a link to that. But basically what I had done is, um, this is for a 350Z or a 300ZX. And the, uh, I guess a common mod on this is to cut the top off of it. And there's a lot of webbing and, and things inside of this and all that got milled off. So I'd set it up in the mill and milled it off. And then he had supplied some material to make a top and he had also already cut the top off well so anyway when he got ready to bolt it on and use it i'm not sure if he got the car running or exactly what happened there but if you notice it cracked all along that line there so why did it do that um i think the weld's pretty good on it actually uh or, or you know i'll just say it's not bad but i think when you cut the top off of this you know you're removing a lot of the structure on it and then um and then of you know which probably allowed it to bow in a little bit meaning you know cup in this way um and then of course when you weld it that's going to draw it in even more but um let me uh, let me show you uh, the bottom of it and what i think happened that caused the crack all right i've got just a piece of uh three quarter inch cold rolled flat bar up on there it's the closest thing i have to a, a known you know really good straight edge and it's not much on this, um, but if you, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it, it teeters just ever so slightly right from the center. Um, and if you watch, if I spin this around, you see that it, it spins kind of perfectly from the, from the center right here. If you rock on it, you can kind of hear that rock right there. So likely what happened was, uh, you know, after this thing got welded and got bolted on the car, um, and bolting it down flat to the lower uh, part of the intake uh, caused it put a lot of stress on it. And then a few heat cycles later, boom, it's going to crack and and open up. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to grind the the uh, weld off and take a closer look at that crack. And I'm probably going to just work down this way a little bit. I don't think it comes down in here. But just to make sure, I'm going to grind down in here and just re-weld all the way around. I'm going to do a preheat on it. And then once we're done, we're going to go over to the table, the table saw, which is a cast iron flat. Should be relatively flat. I think it's my, my you know, flattest reference surface I have in here. You know, I've got these, which are really flat. But the fact that they've got the holes in it is going to cause an issue with uh, lapping this thing in. So, um We'll put some blue on the bottom of it and put uh, some spray down, a little spray adhesive, put some sandpaper down and lap the, the flange in and that should take care of it. So let's get going here. All right, I can definitely see where the crack was uh, was ending here. So I'm gonna just drill out. I'm gonna go just past where it ends and drill it out with a center drill.
right, let me get you a close up of what we got going here. So um, you can see the crack down in there. Yeah, you can see it there. And um, you can see that it's on the edge of that uh, beat out hole I created. You can see where the crack comes into it. And then you can see that there's no crack on this side of it. So it's definitely the end of it. And you can kind of see the same thing over here. So I think we're good here on, on the prep. Uh, I'm going to V that out just a tad bit more, try to get that a little bit deeper. Um, and then I was thinking about bolting this down to the table, my welding table over here, and uh, welding it with it bolted down. And that way it would, you know, it would um, hold it flat while it gets welded flat. But I'm afraid that once the weld is going to want to, you know, pull this together and it's going to have tension on it. So I'm going to weld it like it is with, with not without bolting it down and then just let the, uh, the lapping work on the table saw over there. We'll get set up in a little bit and do that. Uh, let that take care of getting the surface back flat and hopefully not have it under tension. So, um, I saw one other place. He never said anything about it leaking, but I saw this. I don't know if that goes all the way through or not, but I'm going to grind that and just put a little weld back over that. So let me uh, get you set up and we'll get to welding here next. All right, so uh, we got that welded back up there. I mean, it's not the uh, prettiest thing in the world, um, you know, because we're welding uh, cast aluminum to some, I think it's 6061 flat bar. Uh, this flat bar is quarter inch thick. This is something probably like uh, 120 thousandths, 150 thousandths, somewhere in that thickness. So I had it hammered down pretty good. I got the uh, pedal on 200 amps and I had it all the way down and I was using 332nd uh, 40-43 filler material and it looked like it was wetting in there pretty good and kind of keyholing back behind it which is you know a good thing means it's diving in there diving in there deep uh, so when I was diving the filler it was uh, you know pulling the filler back into the keyhole back behind it so um, anyway I, uh, I think we got that so we're gonna get set up now we'll let it cool down all the way and then we'll get over here on the uh, the table saw, and I gotta clean it up a little bit. It ends up being my little staging area for working on the paint booth because I almost never use it. I don't do a lot of woodworking, so um, I just got some miscellaneous crap when I bring it in from outside. Just sit it there. So let me get set off, set up, and we're gonna use this corner here. Gonna stone it a little bit and get it uh, cleaned up. I believe this is 
you know, this is the closest thing I have to a flat, true surface, and I don't really know how true it is, but it's a thick, heavy-duty cast iron top, so it should be pretty flat. All right, we uh, used a Sharpie. I really need to get some Dicom. I don't have any, but I use Sharpie to kind of get um, a look at what it's going to look like there. So um, anyway, this thing's kind of awkward to work with here. Um, And just as you might expect, it was high in the center and not even touching on the edges. So that's kind of what we saw with the straight edge. We're verifying that now. So we'll just keep working this until we get it all uniform and then we'll probably just blue it up and do it one more time. I'm gonna put one more piece of sandpaper actually. Um, it really should have been down on this end. So I need another piece down here. Working its way out a little further, still pretty blue and untouched out on the edges. Okay, just starting to uh, get out to the outside edges there. So we're looking pretty good. All right, so you see we're about halfway across there. We got a little low right there, and it's still low out in here, so we'll keep working it. We want to swap our sandpaper around. I guess one of the holes gouged it there. All right, the center of it out to out to here and here cleaned up really quickly and then these outer edges here uh, you know I went for a long time and used up I don't know four or five sheets of sandpaper and you can see it was just starting to get that and uh, that was the last part I went forever and finally got some of that knocked off so I think it's uh, relatively flat now and we got a nice surface on that so my recommendation to Carlos would be to use some RTV and make a gasket, you know, and do a form fit. Uh, put the stuff down and let it set for a little bit and then set that in there, let it cure up and then snug it up so that it forms a nice gasket seal and will help maybe take up for some of the outer edges being uh, not flat. So I'm, I'm guessing this thing bowed in a little bit, you know, like like that. What is that? What? what, what? Um, anyway, so. Uh, Carlos is all fixed up. This is my first returned job, you know, of all the stuff I've made and sent out of, uh, you know, something that actually failed. This is the only thing I've, um, now there's been a few things I've had to kind of, you know, in the shop have had issues and I've had to remake them or whatever, but the only thing I've made that's, or repaired or welded that's gone out, that's, that's come back. And um, so you can see this has got some little dirty stuff in it, but it looks good uh, all the way around and drilled out the ends of the cracks. So 
I think we're I think we're good to go on this. Did a preheat on it and uh, got the surface level, so we should be good to go this time. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this video, and I will talk to you guys later. See you on the next one.